Welcome back my YouTube family. In today's video, I am going to be going over the process of installing these 26 inch um, aluminum black balusters. I picked them up for Lowe's, uh, about $2 a, a spindle, and we had quite a bit to install. I installed most of these, so I think I found the most efficient way to do it. So they come with the, well they don't come, you gotta buy these little black connectors separately. The black connectors go inside that you screw this to the two by and you go through the process. Now the process of connecting them was a little funny at first, but believe me, I think that I nailed it. I got it down. Um, the spacing, my code says no more than four and three eighths inch in between balancers. So I took a piece of lath here and I just did four and a half between each hole. I took my shortest railing and made a, a template. And I just screw the first one on and just pre-drill through the holes. Real simple process. So I'll let the video show the process. I'm using these rail connectors. They nylon, real strong and sturdy. I'll put a link in the description. I got them from Amazon, but it gives it a nice cl classy look. Um, so when I measure mine from post to post, I measure at the bottom. I always measure at the bottom because you can move the tops to make them connect, but you want your post to be the same. So I measure at the bottom. My measurement is 55 and 7 sixteenths. So what I have to do is I have to take off a half inch because each one of these is a quarter inch thick. So if you're just going from post to post without these fancy connectors, by the way, they're only a dollar 50 cent each. Uh, gives your railing a real nice look. So I highly recommend these. But anyway, you take off a half inch for me, for my measurement, and then I'll cut my two pieces of wood. First thing you want to do is crown your wood. You look down, and, it, and if it's blowing up, that's the side that you want up. You don't want it dipping down because over time it'll keep dipping and then your connections will come loose. So always crown your wood. This one is blowing up. I'll call this my bottom. Here's the thing. With the top rail, the bow is this way. It's like this, but when you put the connectors on, you got to flip your board over to keep your crown on top. Take my template, line it up to the back of the wood. Take one of the screws they provide, screw it in that first hole, just to, just to hold it down. Now I'm just going to go down my template and just screw in the middle. take a connector just connect it. you do that all the way down it's easier for me to just preload the screws in that way I can just go I'm using these connectors here and they kind of easy to install. Sometimes they're a little tight. Just put them on. A couple of screws in the back through the holes here and they kind of recess there. the easiest way you can do two two by stacked on top of each other that'll give you three inches or I'm just using this four by four block which gives me three and a half inches and I just set it like so shut that down Make sure that you, and I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not necessarily giving it any type of tape measure treatment. Just eyeballing it. Making sure in the square, you could do that by using just a regular framing square, put it on the side, or eyeball it, and then screw it all in. Nice and secure. 
this is not going anywhere. Uh, again, I love these connectors, but that's optional. These balusters just slide right over here. You just want to make sure that you put them down. All the way down to the bottom. See, the missus couldn't wait, so she put the lights up before we were actually done, which is awesome. But I can work around those, no problem. Okay, what I found best to do is to start on one end, have the other end, other end a little elevated, and just start on one end and just steadily drop it and drop it and drop it as you go. And so, um, sometimes it's a little difficult, but you can make this a one-man job. When I get further along, I go back to this end and pop that end down. Get it all in and just pop it down. Now this end is tight, but this right here, it's a little loose. And that's where the crown is at. That's how that board is crowning. But yeah, that's it. Simple as that. That is personal preference, but I cut man off with the two by four. So um, just take the measurement down. This measurement you do take at the top. And this is the detail of the corner. I just used the cleat there, the cleat there, brought the wood over to a 90, same thing down here, and measured over from here to here four inches and from here to here four inches. And that's how it looks. And for the stairs, I'm just gonna use the same exact process. The only difference is I'm gonna use these connectors that kind of twist into an angle. So when you install your balusters, they do install plumb. cost wasn't that much more than your average wood balancers of course it's way more labor intensive but following this method is so easy to install 
I really appreciate you all sticking around for this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. I have more videos coming for this deck build. And leave me a comment in the comment section if you want to know anything else about this or any other video that I have uploaded or you want me to upload. As always, I really appreciate you all watching. Until the next time, eight.